fake, 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 fake everywhere. Like literally everywhere. I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point. In Hi guys, hi beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Akune Kamsi and I'm a content creator based in Abuja. So there's a pandemic of fake koji sand soap everywhere in the market. Like, if you don't know how to spot the original one, believe you me, you are buying the fake. Fake, 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 fake. Everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. When I went to the market, I was shocked. Like, I was literally shocked. Even though I know this so very well. Ha. And in front of these sellers, they know it's fake. And they'll bring it for you. To see if you know if, if it's fake. And the funny thing is that they sell it the same price as the original one. So in today's video, I'm here to help a sister and a brother and a friend. Because in this channel, we don't get key. I'm here to help you to identify the original Cody Sans soap when you see it. I feel like buying this soap online is very dicey, to be honest. Unless you're going to be getting this soap from a trusted and tested vendor. So I will tell you things that will make you identify, oh, this is the original Koji Sans soap. Or things when you see, you'll be like, oh, this is the fake Koji Sans soap. So if that's what you're looking for in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And let's just get right into the video. So first, let's start with the packaging. So Koji Sans comes in three types. There's the single one, two one like this. Then there's a double Koji Sans. That's two in one. And there's three in one. So I don't have the two in one. So you just take me. Anyone can be fake. -o. You can buy single fake. You can buy two in one fake. You can buy three in one fake. So this video is just to let you know that Koji San comes in three forms. So you have the single, you have the two in one, and you have the triple, which is the three in one. Depending on what you want, if you want the single, if you want the double, if you want the triple. So depending on what you want, just to have it at the back of your mind that this soap comes in three different forms this light pigment so obviously the old koji san didn't have this zero light pigment i'll put an image on the screen so it didn't have this zero light pigment on it but recently the new koji san has it even the triple the double the single they all have the zero li um, pigment light sorry zero pigment light you're going to look out for that this is a recent development i think this this started two years back two years or three years back they start putting this zero pigment light so the recent koji san has this zero pigment light so that's what you should take note of i don't think you should i don't think the old stock should still be in the market but anyway just to be on the safe side don't buy any koji san that doesn't have this zero pigment light so this zero pigment light basically is a formulation that targets dark spots so it's just a way of saying even though i use koji san all over my body the Koji San goes straight to the dark spots and target and target dark spots. It doesn't affect the normal pigment. It goes straight to hyperpigmentations and target hyperpigmentation. That's what this zero pigment light does. Next thing you should watch out for is the manufacturer. When you take your soap, then go to the back of the soap. There you will see where the soap is being manufactured from. Now I want you to take note that. This soap is not manufactured from China. It is manufactured in Philippines. So both of them is here. Made in Philippines. Made in Philippines. I'll put an image. So you should be taking note of these things. Not China. Not Korea. Not Japan. It is made in Philippines. And they also check the company that makes this soap. So the company that made this soap is the B BV. That's B E V I. I'll put an image of this BV, which is Beauty Element Venture Limited. So BV are the people that made that makes this soap. So you should watch out for that. So once you don't see these things, just know it's fake. When you see this thing, uh, hey, at least you now start waiting for the next tip I'm going to tell you. So the next thing is the write-up behind the soap. The write-up behind the pack of the soap. There is a particular write-up. I will put a fake and I will put an original in this video. So you will see the difference in the write-up. There is always a difference in the write-up at the back of this soap. The write-up of the original is C 
small is small and clear i've now explained it but the fake it's a bit bold so i'm going to put an image showing the difference one image showing the fake and one image showing the original write-up so you will see so and also not only checking the write-up also read the write-up behind the soap most times they make errors in their writing and so when you see the fake there's errors in the writing and when you see the original there's not that stupid or dumb error so always read the back of the soap and always check the right up of the soap before you purchase the original Cody Sand does not have any silver seal on it so that's one thing you should take note when i went to the market there was a pandemic of this soap having silver seal the fake most of them had a silver like you know now seal that you have to peel out the original Cody Sand soap does not come with a silver seal if you see silver seal on any soap, don't even bother. Just don't even look at it. Drop it. The original Cody Sans soaps don't come with a silver seal. I think I saw some videos saying that the original has a silver seal. Original, put your hand on your ear. Original does not have a silver seal. It is fake. Raw. Tip is check the expiring date. Cody Sans soap expires two years after the production date so that's one thing you should take note of for example now this soap was produced in 2023 and it's going to expire in 2025 the original kojisan soap expired two years after the manufact the production of this soap please take note best before is two years after the production so if it's 2023 it should expire 2025 if you see three years if you see four years run it is fake then another thing again about the expiring date is that day and month of production is the same thing with the day and month of expiring so for example now this my soap is it was produced 11 january 2023 and it's going to expire 11 january 2025 do you understand this this single one was manufactured 29th may 2021 this one is finished already 2021 and it should expire 29th may 2023 two years two years if it's more than two years run if the date is not if the day and month of production is different from the day and month of manufacture and um, of, of expiring date run this soap comes with a badge number now i want you to disregard every information you hear that the badge number must end with 26 it's a lie different codison different badge number the previous codison you bought will not have the same badge number with the recent code you signed but these two are different badge numbers the fake is even the one that ends with the 26 so just disregard all those things this every code you so comes with different badge numbers next thing you should know is that code you is code you like you say code you with papaya code you with coconut code you with carrot it is fake code you is code you nothing like plain code you there is no additional things to it. There is nothing added to the koji san. It is plain. That's why you so once you see koji san with or koji acid or koji san with papaya, carrot, coconut, mango, run. It's fake. It is fake. Come to the back of your koji san is that it comes in this. There's a sticker. I don't know if you can see there's a sticker i'll put an image here there's a sticker here that it is written in arabic so i call it arabic sticker so you should check for the arabic sticker if your codison does not have this sticker it is fake or it might be that the sticker was peeled out because you can peel it out i just don't want to peel it because of this video you can peel it out after all even this one it, i peeled it out it fell off so this this arabic sticker is not in this one but when i got it it had the sticker so that's one thing you should note but you should also always look for the sticker to be on a safer side if you don't see the sticker don't buy but if you see the sticker then it's not like with all these things i've said though 
and you see a sticker in here, you're, you're going somewhere. And I'm saying, be checking it the same time. The same time, they should, all of them should be there because my own soap has everything I'm saying here. So the sticker, if you see a sticker and every other thing, you know that you're heading somewhere. Sometimes this sticker might fall off. So you just put it out there or it might be peeled off. It might fall off. So just to know, but most original Kodisan comes in this, with this Arabic sticker at the back of the soap. So it's just for you to know and be aware of it. You should take note in the packaging is the ingredient list. Now, Kodisan on this ingredient list is number five. The first ingredient in, on all the original soap is coconut, coconut oil. Second ingredient is water. Third ingredient is sodium hydroxide. And fourth ingredient is fragrance. So it's just for you to know that even this one, even this one, the same thing, the same ingredient. So read the ingredient list. So the position of each ingredient at the back of the soap. I will tell you to open the soap and bring out the soap. So now this, when you bring out, this is the Koji San soap out of the pack. So let's talk about what you should be expecting from the original soap when you bring it out. So when you bring out the soap, the first thing you should notice is it comes in this transparent pack like this. And there is Koji San logo on it. Koji San logo on the I'll put an image. I don't know if you can see from this. The, the leather is not just plain. There is Koji San logo on that nylon or the leather or the, I don't know the nylon that the soap is being wrapped in. You see Koji San logo. Logo. Take note of it. If you see plain without Koji San logo, run. It is fake. So when you look into the soap, there is Koji San engraved, like, engraved into the soap. You will literally see it from this transparent part. You will see Koji San engraved on the soap. Take note, oh, if you don't see that engraved Koji San, it is fake. Run. The next thing you should look out for is the color. So when you take out the soap from its pack, Koji San soap is orange, bright orange. Koji San soap is not dark orange, light orange. It is not burnt orange. It is vibrant orange. I don't know how to explain the orange. It is bright, vibrant orange. I don't know if this camera is doing justice to this soap. I don't know. But the orange is orangey. Hey God, I don't know how to explain it. It is not dull orange. It is not very light, light, very light colored orange. It is, it is vibrant orange like the orange is vibrant it is bright it is if you look at it you know this is orange is orange. the next thing you should check is the smell so when you smell this soap it should be smelling like orange now you should take notes the orange scent of this soap is mild it is not orange like it's not vibrant it's not into your face it's just a mild subtle orange scent calm orange scent it is not strong. It is not sharp. It is calm. Orange scent. Then it doesn't have a soda scent. It doesn't have scent of air freshener. Like fragrance. Like you'd be smelling as if you use a very scented body wash. No. It is a very calm orange scent. Take notes. I wish you can smell it from here. But it's not possible. But thing to identify is when you take this soap like this try press it gently before you go and buy market oh so when you try pressing this soap it is soft this soap is not hard you know how you're washing soap normal washing soap you know when you press it they are hard it's not like this this soap is soft when you press it oh, which i can show you guys let me use my own are you seeing it's even there's even a dent already see is it bent but please don't press it like this so when you've not paid <laughs> when you've not paid in the market so take it easy when you press this soap see now there's already a dent on this soap i don't know if you can soft it's not strong the fake soap is hard like i literally saw it with my eyes it is hard so press it with style don't go and press so and scatter somebody's soap you now buy market you now bought the soap you're not at home you now want to use your soap i'm going to tell you things you should watch out for 
why using the soap that so so that if you're with the fake one you should discontinue using it for your for your health sake do you understand so let's get right into that one so the first thing you should watch out for is stinging sensation normally normally koji san gives a stinging sensation so if you're if you're if the koji san you're using does not give you a stinging sensation then you got the fake soap the original soap stings especially if this is your first time of using koji san if that's not your first time probably it will still sting but even me that i've been using it all, all for a very long time even sometimes when i use it even yes i still feel some stinging sensation so you should watch out for stinging sensation if your soap use it first time use it second time use it third time and there is no stinging sensation then it's most likely you've gotten the fake soap so watch out for stinging sensation now the next tip you should watch out for is the ladder this soap ladders a lot like it foams a lot like just one swipe on your sponge there's a lot of ladder like it ladders so that's one thing you should note if your kojisan soap does not ladder then you're with the fake kojisan soap take note of that also when this soap is laddering notice the kind of ladder you get men using the soap the ladder is white and it doesn't stain everywhere orange orange so once you start seeing that your bathtub pool your sink oh your everywhere around you is orange because you're using koji sans soap then you got the fake koji sans soap you need to discontinue using it do you understand another thing you should notice that this soap melts very very fast and that's why they will advise you to cut your soap into cubes like boxes mini soaps so that it can last for you so if your soap does not melt fast you bought the fake one like this soap literally melts like if you leave this soap inside water like you place it on a watery surface you literally see this soap melt like that's how soft this soap is it melts very very fast so that's one thing you should note when getting this soap it melts very very fast results so by two to three weeks after using like when you stay consistently using this soap by two to three weeks of using this soap you should start seeing results you should start fading your darks your hyperpigmentation your dark spots if you're not seeing results by two three weeks max one month then you got the wrong koji sans soap by two to three weeks max one month that's four weeks you should start seeing results if you got the original koji san soap since you start using this soap you are now breaking out your face is becoming darker or your body is becoming darker you're breaking out you're you're not having more dark spots you're not having more pimples acne you got the fake soap stop it one thing i know and i'm sure is that koji san does not break you out in short it even dries up your pimples if you get the original koji sans soap it dries up your pimples it fades your dark spot and it fades your dark mark so that's one thing i'm sure of koji sans does not break you out so if you if you're using if you start using a koji sans soap and it's breaking you out then you're using the fake koji sans soap run so one bonus tip that i, I still use till now always carry you can carry your previous koji sand pack so so try not to throw your koji sand packs away so that when you're going to get the next one you can take them along with you to the store and also when you're like when you cut when you cut your soap into box endeavor to keep a cube of your soap so that you can use it as sample so if they go if you go to the store and they want to start saying you don't know what you're saying Oh, this one and i mean they sell the original they have you've been buying the fake this is the original just i don't need to argue with them i'll just daily bring out the my pack my previous pack and my previous soap i'll have a, a a cube of soap once i just show it they'll shut up and they know they know the ones that have the original will bring out the original say, okay okay see this one look this one so they know so they'll just advise you to take the previous pack of your koji san soap and a cube of your koji san soap so that the man will even smell it himself and see that he's selling rubbish to, to people so that's one thing you should take notes i just say I should let, I should just put it out there so that if you're confused with all these things i've said so when you get the original koji san soap keep that pack keep a soap so make sure that your soap does not finish before you 
get the next soap so that you can have a soap to sample when going to the market basically so this comes to the conclusion of this video so if you have any other way to identify fake codison soap that wasn't stated in this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section so that you can help a sister a brother a friend out there and please if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to hit the notification bell to get when next i post my next video and i'll see you in my next one bye Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.